Right, one of the things that people have asked me is how do you kind of get all the detail uh, for some of the furs and the fine feathers uh, and so on and so on. Well, as we all know, it's all through layering, using different layers. If you follow my tutorials on here, you'll see that. So what I want to show you just very quickly, it's a very quick video of this one, just a little tip, is how to lift off some detail using a fine detailed brush. Okay, so I'm going to use my double zero brush, my little Cockman uh, Series 111 double zero. Okay, so this is a Winsor Newton brushy, and I'm going to go and lift off a little bit of paint for you just to show you how this works. Okay, so what I've got, I've got a very damp brush, my, my brush is very worn at the moment, but we'll give you some ideas. So I'm going to go over the same line time and time again with a damp, clean brush, and then whilst it's wet bit of tissue and lift it off and you end up with this nice fine line it shows up better obviously on a darker background as well so again I do the same thing again use it on a darker area here it's good for taking out whiskers on a cat or animal barely touching the paper this time okay and we'll lift it off okay so imagine if you've painted a background and you've got a dog in front of that or something like that and you want to put some whiskers from the animal into the background this is a way you can do this as long as the background's dark enough for it to show up a little bit you know so you can use it for um, details such as grass as well so bear that in mind so barely touching the paper again just skimming the paper and then lift with some tissue so all I'm using as I mentioned is a fine double zero brush and a little bit wet that's all not soaking wet but you need it wet okay <laughs> so yeah not soaking wet so again barely touching the paper and as you can see lift it whilst it's wet and then you get this lovely little detail work imagine blades of grass or little whiskers on a cat anything like that and that will give us some ideas on how to use a lifting off technique okay and this is obviously how I tend to do some of the final details on a painting so talk to you again soon for the next tip trick and video Bye-bye now.